Hello, my name is Raven. Welcome to my Basics Using Matinee Part 3. In this part, I'm going to show you a very simple uh, animation uh, where we're going to create it. We're going to drop a actor on the screen and have them run to the other side uh, using Matinee. This will be very simple, but you should learn enough to be able to expand on it. All right, so let's go ahead and create a nice little uh, ground for our actor to run on and drop a light in. Whoops. All right. Let's go ahead and move that up a little bit. Okay. All right. So now let's uh, go to our content browser. Let us uh, go to all assets, skeletal meshes, and you can pick out any of these characters that you would like. I'm going to drop the iron guard onto our scene. Going to raise him up to where he's just where he's touching the floor. All right. I'm also going to move him back a little bit. Okay, cool. So now we're going to want to go to Unreal Kismet, new matinee, and we're also going to want to set up a new event, level loaded. Alright, this means that the second our level loads, the matinee sequence will play. So let's go ahead and open up matinee, select our little player here, add a new skeletal mesh group. I'm going to call it player. Alright, so we already have a keyframe in for movement. Go on ahead and go all the way over to 5 seconds. Add a new key. Move our little guy all the way over. Alright, we'll go on ahead and build the lighting really quick. Alright, now if we play it, we can see it goes over, but it's not exactly that exciting. So let's give him some life. Alright. So let's go back to our content browser. Select all assets. Make sure the object type is set to all. Type in anim set. Select the k underscore anim human underscore base male set. Select our player group where it says group animation sets. Add a new one by clicking the little plus sign there. And with our animation set selected, oops, and the content browser, uh, go on ahead and add it. All right, now that that's added in, uh, let's go on ahead and select movement, add a key, and we'll have a nice drop down, uh, nice little drop down here. All right, I'm going to go on ahead and select crouch forward hit OK play it really quick alright so obviously it's not very big it uh, barely takes up a second and you notice if we play it when it stops our little dude just kinda glides on along before so what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click our crouch set to loop then we're gonna click play again and he'll crouch walk all the way over all right, now there are others in here you can use as well. There is a run animation down here. Very funny looking run animation. <laughs> All right, um, you guys can play around with this. Uh, I've been working on a nice little scene. I've also been working on my own new animations to replace this. But um, that's the basics to moving a skeletal mesh actor across the scene and animating him in matinee. And if we were to load our level and play it from here, oh, sorry, I have to close matinee really quick. Oops. Ah, there's one thing. Uh, good thing I did that because I would have completely forgotten to mention it. Sorry about that. Uh, if you notice, he just kind of runs in place and he's not too thrilling, but he does run in place.
indefinitely. Oh, okay, not for indefinitely. All right. So double click our skeletal mesh actor. Go to movement where it says physics. Set it to physics underscore interpolating. And there you go. All right, now he'll follow the matinee all the way over. And if you want collision on him, you can go ahead and double click, go to collision, collision type, select block all. And then you can know, okay, well, you can still bump into him. Hmm. I will uh, play around with that a bit more. All right, so. Um, that concludes this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did making it. Uh, in later tutorials, I plan to do an entire firefighting sequence. But um, I haven't gotten there yet or haven't made the animations that are required for it yet. Uh, when I do, I'll upload it. Um, thank you.